important elements in planning. Let's look at them. One is the mission statement. Mission statement states the purpose of the existence of this institution. It states what type of learner itself, what needs it satisfies, and what type of education it offers. In general, the mission statement indicates the boundaries for an institutional uh, activities. The mission statement should not be too broad, vague, or narrow. For example, a statement like this, maybe the mission statement you say to serve Nigeria. This statement is too broad. On the other hand, a mission statement like to make tennis ball is too broad, it's too narrow. Now, we need to have a statement, the mission statement, to cover what the institution intends to do. It shouldn't be vague, should not be too broad, and it should not be too narrow. Then the next one is the objective. The objectives will help to drive the mission statement. And the characteristics of the objective is that it has to be clear and specific, stated in writing, ambitious, but realistic. It should be realistic. It should make realistic statements. Consistent with one another in case of multiple objectives. They are quantifiable and measurable, tied to a particular time or period. These are the characteristics the objective should have. Now, again, they follow illustrate the correct and incorrect statement. For example, if you said, basically the belief derived from objectives are they provide a basic basis for planning. Because if the objective is not there, then there will be no need to plan. Because the objective has to drive the focus on which the plannings are made. And the objective will be a reflection also of the mission statement. So the objective needs to be planned so as to facilitate and coordinate behavior of various uh, groups. Now, you need strategy. Once you have had the objective, the next thing is for you to strategize how you will bring the objective to bear. Again, you can bring in the SWOT analysis, use the SWOT analysis to know where your weakness, your opportunity, and the threats lies. Now, having done that, the objective rule could have it in this way. For Let's look at an example here, and let's look at the strategy. Now, you have an objective to have an increase of 10% enrollment. Now, if that is your objective within a specified timeline, then you need to come up with strategy on how you are going to get that 10% increase. So strategies are very, very vital in planning. Now, we have probably come up with tactics. The tactics, somebody could look at strategy and tactics, they are not entirely the same. Tactics is a means by which a strategy is implemented. You have the strategy. This is what you want to do. The tactics will now bring you the means through which you will use to drive that strategy. Now, in this case, let's look at this again. So a tactics is more specific detailed course of action than the strategy. Therefore, let's look at an example in this order. Supposing we have uh, tactics for achieving strategies. We are coming up with some tactics to achieve some strategy. You have some strategies, but you need to get tactics to achieve them. What will you look out for? For such a thing, for example, it could be advertisement. Now, for the example I cited earlier on, you want to have an enrollment increase of 10%. How will you get the enrollment increase of 10%? Because that is a strategy. Now, you think of what tactics you will use. Okay, I'm going to advertise. Okay, you advertise the work type of advertisement. What type of which media are you going to use to advertise? These are tactics. Then you will come up again to say, okay, let me uh, come up, uh, look at the. Uh, to, no, again, you could think of, okay, how do I support this strategy? Look for a way in which you could support the strategies. These are required when you are looking at tactics. The policies are very, very vital because policies could affect 
whatever thing you need to plan on in an educational system. For example, the institutional policies could have effect, the educational policies could have effect, state policies could have effect, national policies could have effect. So you need to consider policies when you are planning. Again, the policies could be uh, a positive and it could be negative in this area. So you have to look at the various policies regarding the type of plan you are carrying on. Then the next one is a procedure. <coughs> what procedure is it you are planning to describe a customary method of handling a future activity? How will you do it? A procedure provides a detailed set of instruction for performing a sequence of action involving in doing particular work. So for every stage you need to pass through, what procedure do you want to apply? You need to put this in place. Now, what method? Method is designed as a prescribed manner for performing a given task. You have the procedure. When you get the procedure, what method will you use, use to be able to have adequate consideration of the objective that you have set, the resources available, and the total expenditure of time, money, and effort? Because the method will help you to harness all these together. Now, we look at the rules. The in, When you're talking about the term rule, is defined as a, prescri a prescriptive directive to educational stakeholders on their conduct and action. You're looking at their conduct, you're looking at the action that is going to take. For example, you may have some rules stated as follows. Employees are to have university education. Or maybe you come up, uh, officers are not entitled to collect money in any form, e.g. levies. These are rules and you have to work by the rule. Then you have programs. Programs in this area can be a comprehensive plan that includes future use of different resources in an integrated pattern and establishes a sequence of required action and time scheduled for each in order to achieve the stated objective. The program can include objective, policies, procedure, methods, schedule, and budget uh, program outline. So when you're talking about program, in this case, we are not referring to academic programs. We are referring to specific action, specific action that will enable you achieve the set objective. And some of these actions I have earlier mentioned, they like policies, procedure, they are program. If you're going to work on them, spend some money on them, they stand to become program. Outside that, you equally have other programs, like educational programs. Such educational programs could not be okay. Are you going in for masters, BSc, ed, and so on, or increasing some other function? Now we have standards. A standard is a unit of measurement established to serve as a criteria for level of reference for performance. We're talking about standard, it may be established on the basis of past experience appraised or scientific method. So either you use uh, establish your standard based on the past experience or you scientifically, you come up with standard that will serve as a guide to serve as a quality measure for every other thing that need to be. Now we talk about the schedules. Schedule is a process of establishing a time sequence for the work to be done. It is an essential part of an action plan. It prescribes the exact time when each step will begin and when it will be completed. So when you have schedules for every plan you do, it serves during monitoring. When you are implementing, it will help you to implement, to meet up with the required timing then budget is very vital because in everything you do if there is no money attached to it you may not be able to accomplish it so you need to budget budget may be comprehensive in that they include educational stakeholders or they can be drawn up for any segment of it at the same time they establish goal for each activity budget always apply to a time period budget are not they are not planned that you use uh, you, you, when you are doing budgets, budgets are plans that are used for controlling purpose. The term budgetary des designate controlling basis or based on budget. So when you budget, it serves as a control. It serves to control the amount of money that you spend in that particular area.